Good morning students. Welcome to your EVS class. Dear students, today I am going to teach you all a new lesson. Lesson 15, People Who Help Us. Given in page number 25 of your EVS book. Dear students, in this lesson we are going to read about the people who are our helpers. The people who are our helpers and who help us to perform different kinds of works. There are many people who live around us and they do different kinds of work. There are several works which we cannot do alone. To perform all those works, we need such people who help us in doing that work. Let us meet them one by one. Here in your book, page number 25, you can see different kinds of pictures. In the first picture, you can see there is a doctor. Yes, children. A doctor helps us in many ways. Where do we go to doctor? A doctor treats us when we are sick. Yes, a doctor treats us when we are sick. When, whenever we fall sick, we go to hospital. And in the hospital, whom do you find? You will find a doctor or a nurse. A doctor helps us to treat. Helps us to treat. A doctor treats us when we are sick. And what are the things that the doctor uses to treat us? He uses a stethoscope. A doctor uses a stethoscope. A doctor also uses to detol, bandage, cotton to give us first aid. And, and by using all these things, a doctor treats us. When we fall sick and the doctor also gives us medicine. The next picture you can see that who is she? She is a teacher just like me. And what is she doing? She is teaching on the board. She is teaching on the board. And what is the work of the teacher? How does a teacher help us? A teacher teaches the student in the school. Yes children, I am also a teacher and I am helping you by teaching you. And I am in the school. Where does the teacher work? A teacher works in the school. So, a teacher helps us in teaching. A teacher teaches you in the school. So, a teacher is also a helper. Next picture. Yes, who is he? He is a policeman. He is a policeman. And what is the spelling of policeman? P-O-L-I-C-E-M-E-N Yes, policeman. How does a policeman help us? A policeman manages traffic on the road. Yes, children, you can see various kinds of vehicles, bus, trucks, trackers, auto rickshaw, bikes and cars and many other vehicles on the road. And there is a jam on the road. So, a policeman helps us in manage helps us by managing the traffic on road and we can also he is uh, called a traffic police next in the next picture who is our next helper yes postman you can see this man he is holding a letter in his hand postman is also one of our, our helper. What does he do? And where does he work? 
A postman delivers letter. A postman brings letter to us. And where does he work? A postman works in a post office. A postman works in a post office. When our friends, family or any other relatives sends us messages through uh, letters or when they give some gifts through couriers, who bring all these things to us? A postman. A postman brings letters and gray and gifts to us and he works in a post office. So postal postman is also one of our helper. The next picture you can see is carpenter. Whom do we call a carpenter? A person who makes wooden things for us. A person who makes wooden things for us such as tables, chairs, sofa set, almira, all the wooden things. A person who is expertise, who is a very, who has a very good knowledge uh, to work with woods, to work with woods and to make wooden things is called as carpenter. And what is the spelling of carpenter? It is very easy. It is a long word but we can learn the spelling easily. C-A-R car. P-E-N pen. T-E-R ter. Carpenter. This is a nine letter word and it is very and we can learn this word very easily. Carpenter. So children, carpenter is also one of our helper. And what does he do? A carpenter makes wooden things for us such as table, chair, door, window, sofa, almira and so on. Next is in the next picture you can see that there is a man holding a pipe, holding a water pipe in his hand and what is he doing? You can see there is a fire. And when there is a fire, whom do we call? When there is a fire, we call fire station. And who works in fire station, children? A fireman. A fireman works in a fire station. And how does he help us? A fireman puts off, puts out fire. A fireman puts out fire. He is skilled in doing this work. He is trained in doing this work. When there, whenever there is a fire, it means it is a symbol of danger. Then we call fire station. And the person who works in fire station is called as fireman. How does a fireman help us? A fireman puts out fire. A fireman puts out fire. Dear children, do you know what do we use to put out fire? A fireman uses water to put out fire. But when there is a fire caused by oil, caused by oil, it is that kind of fire is put off by using foam. The fire which occur, which is happens, which occur due to oil, it is put out with the help of foam. Who is our next helper children? Now turn to page number 26 to meet some more helpers. Yes. In this page you can get many helpers. Here you can see, in this picture you can see a man with a scissor, clothes and a tape in his hand. And 
a tape on, on his neck. Who is he? Can you identify this helper? Yes, can you identify this man? He is a tailor. How does a tailor help us? Yes, children. A tailor stitches our clothes. A tailor stitches our clothes. You wear shirt, pant, frock, skirt, tie, suit. All these things are stitched by tailors. And the blouse that we uh, that I wear is also stitched by a tailor. So a tailor helps us by stitching our clothes. And to stitch the clothes, what are the things? What are the tools that the tailor uses? The tools that the tailor uses is what is this? Caesar. A measuring tape, scissor, measuring tape, needle, this is a needle and what is this? Thread, with the help of scissor, a tailor cuts the clothes and with the help of thread and needle and needle, a tailor stitches the clothes. And with the help of this tape, a tailor, what does a tailor do with this tape? A tailor takes measurement of the clothes by using a measuring tape. Yes, children. So, a tailor is also one of a very important person in our day-to-day -day life. He helps us by stitching our different types of clothes. Next is... Painter, painter, the room of the wall, of your walls is painted by painter. Who is, whom do we call a painter? A painter is a person who paints the doors, windows and walls of a house. You, you might have seen a person who is painting your doors, windows and walls of your house. Diwali is coming soon. So, in Durga Puja and Diwali, we all used to, we all do paintings of our houses and our, day and our windows and doors. So, to do this work, we call painter. A painter paints walls, doors and window. In this way, a painter also helps us. Next is, in the next picture, who do? Can you identify this picture and this man? Yes, he is walking with a water tap and pipes. Who is he? Any guesses? He is a plumber. He is a plumber. Whom do we call as a plumber? A plumber is a person who repairs leaking taps. A plumber is a person who repairs leaking taps. Whenever a tap leaks or when there is a fall in the pipelines, in the water pipelines, whom do we call? We call plumber. Next is, I think you are familiar with this person. We all are familiar with this person. Who is he? He is a milkman. Who is he children? Milkman. Yes. And what is the work of the milkman? A milkman brings milk for us. A milkman brings milk for us. He visits door to door and he brings milk for us. So a milkman also helps us. He is also one of our helper. A milkman visits our house every morning or evening and he brings milk for us. So milkman is also one of our helper. Next is Barber. Yes. Who trims our hair? Who trims our hair? Who cuts our hair? Who trims our nails? The person who cuts our hair. Who trims
names or names is called a barber and what are the things that a barber needs to cut our hair that a barber uses to cut our hair a barber trims our hair by using scissor and comb by using comb and scissor a barber cuts our hair so a barber is a person who helps us who helps us by trimming our hair so a barber is also one of our helper next is cobbler cobbler children whom do we call as cobbler here on the board you can also see cobbler what is the spelling of cobbler c o b b l e r what is the work of a cobbler whom do we call a cobbler a person who mends our shoes a person who repairs our shoe who a person who repairs our shoes sandal slippers are called as cobbler and what are the things that a cobbler uses a cobbler uses tripod here you can see there is a picture of tripod tripod in which the cobbler keeps the shoes or sandals and he mends our shoes by using needle and a thick thread and the thick thread by using needle and the thick thread a cobbler mends our shoes next is can you identify this person electrician yes children how does electrician helps us a electrician repairs the electrical fittings by using tester and some of the screws a test uh, an electrician helps us by by repairing the electrical fittings and to do this work an electrician uses some tester and screws so in this way a electrician also helps us so electrician is also one of our helper next one is washerman who washes our clothes yes children in the dry cleaning when you give some of our your clothes for dry cleaning who washes your clothes washerman a washerman washes our clothes so the person who washes our clothes is called as washerman and in this way he is he also helping us in washing our clothes so a washerman is also one of our helper last but not the least who is he watchman and what is the work of the watchman a watchman guards the house in some places you can also see watchman is also known as guard watchman what is the work of watchman a watchman watches a watchman keep watching people and he takes care of our house he takes care of our house or school or our office so a watchman is a person who guards our house office schools etc so in this way a watchman also helps us let us recall for one more time children about the person who helps us what are the person who helps us here you can see a doctor a doctor helps us when we fall sick and when we fall sick a doctor uses detol cotton bandaid and stethoscope to treat us to treat us teacher 
A teacher teaches you in the school and he or she a teacher uses board, blackboard or green board, chalk and duster. Chalk, duster, blackboard and a teacher also uses notebook to teach you. Next is a policeman. A policeman also helps us by managing the traffic on road. Now let's meet to our next helper, postman. A postman helps us to bring our letters. Carpenter. A carpenter is a person who makes wooden things. Fireman. A fireman helps us to put out fire. Whenever there is fire, we call fireman. Next is tailor. Tailor. A tailor stitches our clothes. Painter. A painter helps us by painting in painting our house walls, doors and windows. Plumber. Whom do we call a plumber? A plumber is a person who repairs leaking taps. Who repairs leaking taps. Next, milkman. A milkman is a person who brings milk for us. Barber. A barber is a person, is one of our helper who trims our hair and cuts our nails. Next is cobbler. Cobbler children. Yes, a cobbler is a person who mends our shoes, who repairs our shoes. Electrician. An electrician works on electrical fittings. An electrician helps us to do, he, he repairs the electrical things. Next is washerman. A washerman helps us by washing our clothes. Last but not the least, watchman. How does a watchman help us? A watchman guards our house. So, these are our helpers children. And to do these works, our helpers use different kinds of tools. I think children that this lesson you have, you have understood this lesson very well and children you will watch this video at your home and you will learn and you will read this lesson too. Till then keep learning and do take very good care of yourself. Thank you.